Welcome to AppMaker University, the fastest place to learn Google AppMaker. In this video, we're going to add signature support to your AppMaker apps. It's just a fact of life that some workflows need that John or Jane Hancock on the record. To get this done digitally, you would typically need an expensive third-party software. But now, thanks to the AMU designers, you can easily install a no-code module, configure it with a few clicks, and have signatures all the while staying within G Suite. Sound good? Let's get started. Okay, you can see we've got uh, just a basic little app going on here with a couple of records, and we're gonna wanna add our signature support to this app. So we'll head back over to the editor here, and we're gonna go up to the file menu, and then we'll click on import, and we're gonna import the zip file. Now, if you don't already have the zip file, you can go to appmakeruniversity.com forward slash templates and download your copy. Now, we don't wanna check this box because that would override our app. We'll just click the import button here. And it loads up and you see we imported some files. Click OK there. And we've got some instructions. OK, so the first thing we need to do is it says we need to add some fields to our data model. So we'll, we're going to need to add a signature and signature image. So we'll click on our data model. We'll click on the Add Field button, choose String, and then we'll type in Signature. And we'll just click the Add Field button again add another string and for this one we're going to call it signature underscore image and this gives us a place to store the information that's going to come from our signature pad. All right that looks good. Now let's move back over to the instructions and see what's next. So it wants us to add the widgets uh, to our UI. So we can do that just by clicking here and selecting the whole image and I'm going to use control X which just cuts that and that way I can just go over here and I'm gonna paste that into my model. So here's my signatures and I'll just select the last item and then hit paste and it just pops it right in there. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do the same thing with the image because I wanna be able to display the image of the signature after they get done signing. And so I'll also just uh, click that and paste it right in here and then I'm gonna drag it down below so it's below the, the sign line there. And you'll notice I've got some errors up here. And so what we want to do is we have to assign each of the values. So we'll click on the first one. We'll just open it up and we'll click OK. We'll go to the next one and we're just going to repeat this process through here. We just have to verify that all of these are correct. And the last one here, we'll click on that. And then the one that we have here is actually talking about the data source on the pop-up itself, which we still need to assign, and that's step number three here. And so we'll go over to our module, and it'll take us right to where that error is at, and you can see it says that the data source is invalid. We just need to select that to the people mod model that is the same as what we're st storing our data. And then back over to the UI, and let's go ahead and preview this. Yeah, now that our UI is loaded up, you can see we've got our signature button here. And we can go ahead and click that and we get this great little pop-up that allows us to actually draw right on the screen. We get to draw our signature in there, hit our save button, and there it is, saved in our database. Let's go ahead and go to record number two here. You can see it all clears itself out and we'll write in another signature. and save that. And now you can see we've got that done. So this is really just an amazing way to add signatures. And you can also click the link here and see where you can download the actual image that was created from that drawing we did there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And be sure to check us out at appmakeruniversity.com.